Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. This is Sparta! Hey guys, how's it going? It's your homeboy Picasso here. Thanks for joining in another video on the channel. And today, guys, just a very quick little discussion, okay? Now, this is for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3, or the Call of Duty community, um, as being so this video is game-related. I want to just talk a little bit about the 10th specialist, Blackjack, okay? Which is the infamous uh, 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 black market dealer, uh, Danny Lee, from the campaign. He was brought back to life in the multiplayer uh, section of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 using Rejack, which is a specialist ability by one of the specialists, Nomad, okay? Now, each specialist in Black Ops 3, we all know who's familiar with the game. If you don't know, there are, or there were, nine specialists, each having their own specialist ability and specialist weapon, okay? So, everybody's used to that. Uh, we do hear some news that there's going to be a 10th specialist, it's going to be Black Blackjack, um, left through various Easter eggs in, uh, around the maps of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Hearing the news that there's going to be a 10th specialist, everybody got excited, the community was like, yes, something new. Because recently the game, even me being a, great, a big uh, a Call of Duty fanboy, okay, like I'm a fanboy, I love all games, love all FPSs, but Call of Duty just gives me something that all of the others don't, right? If they could put all of the others together, it would make Call of Duty, that's basically what it is. So hearing about the 10th specialist Blackjack, everybody's going to be like, okay, we're going to have a new guy, somebody, or a girl, you know, somebody new to play with, which is awesome, so I was looking forward to that. Then then there was a lot of rumor speculating that he was only going to be attainable through uh, uh, care packages, which got everybody, including myself, I was like, come on, man. I spent so much money on COD points already to get these uh, uh, supply drops and end up getting nothing 97% of the time. That was shut down, so we realized that it wasn't going to be supply drops. Okay, DLC 3 came out, and everybody's like, yo, he's going to come out with DLC 3. He didn't. Okay. Later on, contracts were introduced into the game, which was just a kind of another challenge to really complete, especially if you're somebody who, you know, loves the game for all of its aspects, which, you know, that's, that's the type of guy that I am. I go for all challenges. I want to get everything once it's possible to get. I want to be able to get it. I'm going to go, I'm going to grind, I'm going to get it. And then we heard that you had to get Blackjack through contracts, okay? So with the contracts, at first I was going to be like, okay, it's going to give a different challenge, you know, and you're going to be able to get Blackjack. Then there's daily, weekly, and special. Special, I did that already. Daily, it changes, it, it, it varies from a lot of different things that you can do. And the only way to get blackjack is through the weekly contracts, which is usually something really, not really hard to get, but you gotta put in the work to get, that's why it's a weekly contract. And then you're allowed to use blackjack. Now, that would be great, except it's a ball and chain scenario. Okay? So to use blackjack, you only get 60 minutes of in-game time to use blackjack. 60 minutes. So you grind throughout the week, say you're not a hardcore fan, it takes you three days, four days, okay? Four days out of the seven to get blackjack. So you're gonna be like, okay, I got three days to use him. No, you can only use it for 60 minutes of in-game time. Now, I've only gotten blackjack once. And I'm looking at the challenges and I'm looking at them like, you know what, is Blackjack even worth it? Because the thing with Blackjack is he has his specialist ability and a specialist ability, okay? Where basically all you're doing is stealing other people's abilities. Kind of puts the nail in the coffin for me. And the reason why I say that is because I grind so hard to get Blackjack and I can only use him for an hour. I mean, when I'm really into it, I'm playing throughout the week out of, let's say a day, I take, I could, I could play if that, if I have the time. I'll go three to four hours of playing Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Or that means I could finish using Blackjack in one day, which is basically say today's Thursday and then tomorrow's Friday. I get Blackjack and I play for that hour. Then there's three more hours that I would usually play once I have the time. Say I have the time, and I would only be able to use Blackjack for one hour out of that entire time. That kind of sucks. Okay, it's just adding. It's just I don't 
like I like blackjack. I like the concept of blackjack. First of all, being a 10 specialist, something we didn't have, okay? And then it's just where's his special weapon? Where's his special ability? Where's where's the thing that really makes him stand out? His abilities, they don't make him stand out that much to me because using the I believe it's rogue uh, a specialist ability once you use rogue basically what it is every five kills you charge up your coin or your meter your whatever your kill meter whatever that thing is that allows you to get your ability and then after getting your ability you're only copying the purse the last person you kills ability okay your ability is copying the last person's ability that you killed and then if you kill somebody else it cycles and then you kill somebody else and you get that weapon and there's a thing with flip where you you click flip and then it reverts back to the uh, uh, before flip the specialist ability you stole so i kill reaper i get scythe then i kill outrider and i get the bow okay the sparrow and then if i want i can use flip and go back to the to the to the to the site kill ruin i'll get the gravity spikes and then his other ability which is gambler basically you it charges up and it charges up pr pretty quickly I, I, I guess okay and then you get a special ability and then i believe i'm trying i don't want to be incorrect here but i believe if you kill somebody you get their ability and then you can flip back but you can only flip back once that's why it's called gambler it gives you a random specialist uh, uh, ability or specialist weapon that's what i meant to say sorry about that with gambler it gives you a random it's not the last person you kill it gives you a random but then if you kill somebody you get a different specialist weapon and then you can choose to flip back to the first person you kill but you can only do that once that's the thing with gambler it gives you a random specialist weapon or ability and i mean it's i appreciate the try because at first I was kind of digging it and I was like, Yo, okay, okay, okay. But to be honest, right now, Blackjack isn't worth it. It really isn't worth it. I've been thinking about it. That's the question I have to you guys. Do you think Blackjack is worth it? Do you think he's not worth it? And when I say worth it, I mean just doing those challenges or, or grinding for those challenges. Do you really think it's worth it? Me personally, I don't think Blackjack's worth it. It's just, it's 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 cool that they did implement a 10 specialist, but they need to change his abilities or his weapon or give him a weapon or something. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I still love Black Ops 3, don't get me wrong, but right now I can't wait for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Yeah, definitely, definitely can't wait. I'm a sci-fi guy, I like spaceships, I like going out to other planets, stuff like that. I like a uh, 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 vehicle warfare, ship, car, anything like that. I, I love those type of things. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, just a little discussion, rant, I don't know what you want to call it, but um, I'm a big Call of Duty guy. I play Call of Duty. Like this channel started on, I want to say Black Ops 2. That's when, that, like around that time, is it? Yeah, I want to believe it's Black Ops 2. If you go back, way back, check out like the first couple of videos I did. There's a lot of other stuff in there as well because you know I do a lot of things on the channel, but the main game was Black Ops 2. Um, you got it. Of course, it was the beginning. I just started YouTube, so the quality ain't great, sound ain't great, but it is what it is. Anyways, we all start from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We all start out of nothing. So, and the channel is just getting up there a little bit. You know, I'm on my way to getting a thousand subscribers. Really excited for that. None of this would have been possible without you guys. Like honestly, I thank you guys so much for allowing the channel to get as big as it is. Didn't think it was. I remember getting 50, 60 subscribers and I'm like, wow, this is taking a long because it's been like a year. Right now, I don't know. I think I've been doing it two years or something like that. But even with like low, low numbers or subscribers, that doesn't matter. There's a couple of people out there that like the stuff that I do, have the same interests, so that's why I do it. You know, so again, road to a thousand subscribers, let's get there. You know, if it's not for gaming, it could be for tech, it could be for music, it could be for family stuff, vlogs, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to do a little bit more vlogs, but that's another video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. We are growing more and more, and I'm going to keep bringing great content, guys. But yeah, leave a thumbs up. I'm your homeboy, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.